How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Yesterday we got access to two new DLC cars for the car pass owners, which includes the Jaguar C-Type, which I'm not that interested in, and the Ferrari FXX, the really old one, and this is something I'm really looking forward to taking a drive in. So what we are going to do is redeem this car, take a look at it, see what upgrades we can do, and have a blast. I've heard that it's pretty insane. Um, so where are we? No, it's over here. Ferrari. Here we are. Oh, great. My Ferraris are all glitched. Where is it? Ferrari FXX. There it is. Oh, yeah. Let's just admire this thing. Oh, that's sweet. Extremely. Oh, look at the back. It's an extremely old Ferrari. Nearly 13 years old. But, I mean, look at it. I don't know much about this car, if I'm honest, because it's quite old. But there's, there seems to be quite a lot of kit at the front, as well as the engine at the back. We can engine swap it. I don't know why anyone would do that. 6.3 litre V12 hybrid. That's interesting. We're going to keep the stock powertrain, obviously. I'm also going to keep it rear-wheel drive as well. I'm sure it's good enough. Already got the max tyres. So, ooh, that is some thick tyres. 335s at the front. Not many upgrades on this thing. Not many upgrades. But that's given us 934 horsepower. Do the tuning a little bit. That'll do. Oh yeah, it'll be a boys. Let's see what this could perform like. This is one of the DLC cars I've been looking forward to the most of this next lot with how what does it sound like? Ooh, car collector. That sounds nice. That's sweet. Now, one of the coolest things about this car, which I actually do remember from some past games, look at the exhaust pipe location. That's usually where the headlights are, or the, the tail lights, sorry. I would just like to do one quick run in this thing, just so you can all just hear what the exhaust sound is like. So let me just get up here to this straight, and we'll go flat out to last gear with just the exhaust sound. Oh, I can't get over that. I think, I'm trying to think. I don't actually think it is a exhaust sound from another car in this game, but it's pretty close. But regardless, it sounds awesome. Oh, that sounds amazing. I can't get over that. There's something about this car sound that just sounds good. That's awesome, it's got a rear facing camera. Is that one of the only cars in the game that does that has that? That actually works? I mean it gives you it gives you a perspective of how fast this car is. How fast it pulls away from people. Look at that mini behind me, look. Pulling away from it. <laughs> That's ridiculously fast. I would like to try a race in it of some sort, just to see what the handing's like, if it's any good or not. Um, I would presume it is. I fancy this one here, because this will give us a test of the straights and the cornering. 
solo we'll go against some similar cars in auto oh, yeah we're in autumn now i forgot about that and there we go let's see what this thing's like in a race right then um let's just jump out straight into it i think i'm on unbeatable difficulty but i think this thing's good enough to beat that Uh, off the line, it has got wheel spin, but it can break away from them. Get around the corner. Ooh, sorry. I think I may have given it a bit too much power to keep the good handling. But we'll keep going. Coming up on first place here already. Yes, the power kicks in and it's got no chance. I think I'm on unbeatable. I'll have to check after this. I must be. It's definitely not the best S2 car in the world, but it does seem pretty good. It's got the handling. It wheel spins a bit, but not too much. I like it. They are just left for dust. Ooh, took that corner a bit badly there. Let's go an interior view for the last bit. Ooh, oh, I forgot about the camera. That's awesome. Seems like a really basic interior. With just one dash that doesn't even fill the whole thing. Oh, got carried away there looking at the speedometer. A few more corners left. Oh, the fifth slung shot behind me quickly. That was strange. It's not taking them very long to do that, but we are across the finish line. That is a good car. I like it. Got another wheel spin. Let's check this. Uh, oh, I would have liked the GT3 RS, but not to worry. I, I will say, I wasn't massively looking forward to the Ferrari. I thought it was cool. I thought it was one of the highlights of the car pass, but I didn't think I'd enjoy it this much. I think it's going to be a car that I get in quite regularly, to be quite honest with you. Hey up Zonda. Oh no, he don't want to race. What's this up here? An Ultima GTR. Right, come on, mate. You've just challenged a driver to a head -to -head. Yeah, damn right I have. He's going to get whooped though. Come here, Paradise. Come to me. Wow, it's actually quite difficult. Come on. Come on, Ferrari, catch up. You're supposed to be decent. Ah, here we go. Taking him here. Oh, Lidges. Oh, oh. Little bit of we came out then. There we go. I got it a bit intense. I tell you what, guys, this car is another reason why if you don't have the car pass already, you should definitely get it. Like in the car pass so far, what have we got? The, the Vauxhall VX 220 Turbo is pretty cool. That's a reason to get it. And uh, none of those are definitely the Jim Carner 10 Ford F50 Hoonigan. Or the Hooney truck, as you can call it. That's worth it. What else is there? The Agera RS as well. You don't want to miss out on that. The Centro Nismo. And now the Ferrari FXX. Anyway, lads, we've had a good look at the Ferrari. I've never realised how squint-eyed this car looks with the headlights like that, but oh well. Please do leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I will see you all in the next video.